Good morning and welcome to King Street Court here in Bridgewater, Nova Scotia. This special worship service is coming from St. Paul's Lutheran Church and has been prepared to ground us in prayer and thanksgiving as we commemorate Canada's 153rd birthday as a nation. Today we celebrate our freedoms, rights, and our responsibilities as a country. As Canadian citizens, we are honored to share a rich history full of symbols and values that define us as Canadians. As Canadian citizens, we also have much to seek in reconciliation, healing, and forgiveness in our nation. As a country, we have much for which to be thankful for, yet much guidance to seek from our Lord. As such, we thought it important to pause on this day to place our country before God. In this time, let us give thanks and also call on God to work in our towns, our cities, and all our communities. May God richly bless our nation as God has richly already blessed our nation. Happy Canada Day today to you and yours. Let us join from our small place of this nation and be united in singing our national anthem. Our call to worship. This is God's land from coast to coast, from the far reaches of the north to the windswept shores of the east and west. To the border of our southern neighbor, God is present in this land. This is God's land. We are the people of this land. Here are God's people from Aboriginal nations to recent immigrants, from fifth generation farmers to newly arrived professionals. God's people surround us. We are the people of this land. Now is God's time. In summer retreats and in holiday places, amid bird song, salt spray, or farm scented air, in the corners of our homes, in our small gatherings, we honor this holy day together. This is a time to honor God. Let us give thanks to God, give him praise and thanks. Good morning, everyone. I'm so happy to join you this morning. I'd like to offer you a prayer in Mi'kmaq. Uh, something that my mother wrote uh, before she passed and also a verse of our feast song. Um, the song is for you to uh, feed your spirit or your soul uh, with the knowledge around us um, of everything that we have on this earth. Jiniskum walaliat ujit apak nagwit Walaliat uchit dan deli maoliak a walaliat uchit umsegoi dan deli yolde ula usi amu gloomin gizi mima joltisinin umset nogama. In English, she says, Creator, 
We thank you for another day. We thank you for gathering us together. And we thank you for all the things that you have put on this earth so that we can live. All my relations. Song of friendly people who 
prayers across the land and let the whole world know it's a land of endless beauty of people proud and free so sing a song of canada our home from sea to sea our god has blessed this nation we give thanks for all he's done from east to west and north to south his victory has been won so we pray a special blessing that his love and hope would be Sing a song of Canada, let your spirit show, send your prayers across the land, and let the whole world know, it's a land of endless beauty, of people proud and free. Join me in prayer. O oh God, as we gather and worship on this Canada Day, we reflect on our nation, the people within it, and our ways of building and being community. We look for ways to be your people in the, this community, this country, and even this world. We seek a renewed understanding of what it means to be a country of compassion and to form a land of principles, integrity, and justice. May we live with confidence and hope in your service to one another and to you, strengthened for this service by the gifts of your Spirit, this day and every day of the year ahead. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, Isaiah 42, verses 5 to 9. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and who stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I have felt the wind upon my face on this Atlantic shore and in the west I've stood and watched the noble eagle soar and I have seen the fields of gold and green and yellow too and on the majesty of mountains Touching skies of blue And my heart's overwhelmed For this nation that I love 
This is my song for Canada. A song for unity and a song for freedom. Oh Lord, our oh God, may your healing come and may.
Gospel of the Lord comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 14 to 16. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. This land known as Canada has always been a sacred place. Our country's indigenous peoples know that it is a gift from the Creator. It provides us with food, medicine, and what we need for shelter. Who else but God could create waters teeming with fish, forests, plains and tundra with plentiful wildlife, mighty rivers and awe-inspiring mountains. We see the beauty of this land and something deep within our hearts understands that it is God's gift to us. Canada isn't just about land. It's also about people. People who live together and share common ways of life. Our reading from the prophet Isaiah tells us that it is God who created this land, who gives us breath and gives us his spirit to walk in his righteousness. God calls us to be his witnesses, to worship him in love, to reach out to those in need, to share our food with the hungry, to visit the sick, the imprisoned, to welcome the stranger, to work for peace and to clothe the naked. As God's witnesses, we are called to honor our elders, our parents, and all those who teach us to walk in God's righteousness. In God's eyes, our greatness as a nation comes from living as his witness. Jesus gives us the strength to live this way to become all that God calls us to be. He calls us from many cultures and nationalities. He inspires and raises up godly people to shine with his light in our families, in our communities, in the church, in our schools, to lead us by example. The light of Jesus shines in our witness. It makes us light for one another and light to the nations. The light of Jesus Shining in our witness opens the eyes of those who are blinded by injustice. It shines on those who sit in the darkness without hope, on those hungering for a home, for friendship, for safety, for food, for love. As we celebrate our nation, let us give thanks to God for this great land. Let us give thanks, God thanks for the people who first welcomed our ancestors and our families. Let us give thanks to God for the faith-filled people in our lives who shine with Christ's life. Let us give thanks for the godly women and men in our history who worked to build a just and free society for all who call Canada home. Let us invite Jesus into our hearts to shine in us that we might continue building what God began in their hearts and lives. Let us pray that this nation be a beacon bearing light in the darkness, hope to the hopeless, and peace to the restless. Amen.
Let us pray for the nation. O oh Lord, as we gather together in your presence on this Canada Day, Psalm 72 tells us of your dominion. We claim this promise that your will would prevail in this land. We pray for the movement of your Holy Spirit across the nation and for the work of your church in every city and village. O oh Lord, make us mindful of your generosity and glad to do your will. Bless our land with honest industry, truthful education, and an honorable way of life. Save us from violence, conflict, and confusion, from pride, arrogance, and from every evil action. Make us, who come from many different backgrounds and countries, a united people, one in purpose and vision. Give our government a spirit of wisdom and compassion that there may be justice and peace in our land. When times are prosperous, lead us to thanksgiving. And when times are troubled, lead us to a deepening trust in you. All this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now let us give praise and thanks to God for his many gifts across this land. The response is, we praise you and thank you, O God. For the gift of the Pacific Ocean, its salmon, orcas, and seals. For the gift of the Yukon Territory, land of the midnight sun and all its riches, we praise you and thank you, O God. For the gift of the Northwest Territories, the Mackenzie, the Nahani, Great Slave, and Great Bear Lakes. For the gift of Nunavut's Arctic Islands, polar bears, narwhals, colorful tundra, and boreal forests, we praise you and thank you, O God. For the gift of British Columbia's majestic mountain and towering firs, we praise you and thank you, O God. For the gift of Alberta's grain and oil, for, for the Athabasca, Peace, and Saskatchewan rivers, for the gift of Saskatchewan's rivers, lakes, and open prairies, and sweeping skies, we praise you and thank you, O God. For the gift of Manitoba's lakes and forests, from its southern border to the Hudson's Bay, for the gift of Ontario's Great Lakes, waterways, lush farmlands, and forests, we praise you and thank you, O God. For the gift of Quebec's St. Lawrence Lowlands, the Gas Bay, and the Canadian Shield to Hudson's Bay, we praise you and thank you, O God. For the gift of New Brunswick from Fundy's Tides and its forested heart to the Gulf of St. Lawrence, we praise you and thank you, O God. For the gift of Nova Scotia, the Annapolis Valley, the Cape Breton Highlands, and the lobster fisheries, we praise you and thank you, O God. For the gift of Prince Edward Island, its Cavendish dunes, fertile fields, and peaceful breeze. For the gift of Newfoundland and Labrador, its rocky forests, whales, icebergs, fisheries, and fjords, we praise you and thank you, O God. For the gift of the Atlantic Ocean and its riches that supply us with food, we praise you and thank you, O God. For the gift of the Arctic Ocean, Baffin Bay, Hudson and James Bay, and their bounty of marine life, we praise you and thank you, O God. Blessed are you, O God, for the wonderful gifts you bestow on us across this beautiful land. We praise you and thank you, O God. This land is your land, this land is my land, from Bonavista to Vancouver Island, from the Arctic Circle to the Great Lake Waters. This land God made you and me, as I was walking that ribbon of highway, I saw above me.
Let us bring our prayers and needs before God. Let us pray for the church, that the followers of Jesus in all nations will work to make their lands places of God's love, justice, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the world, that peoples of all nations will work together to build civilizations of love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who suffer without a home, without a community, without a country, or without rights where they live. That God will fill them with hope and change the hearts of all who can make a difference in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the people of Canada, for healing and reconciliation, for unity and love of God and neighbor, and greater stewardship for the many gifts God has bestowed on us in this land. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our communities, that we might grow in oneness in Christ and witness to his gospel by our love and welcome for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our needs, the needs of our friends, families, and loved ones. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us gather all the prayers we have spoken, those that remain our hearts, and bring them before the Father in words that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Receive this blessing. Go. Bless and be blessed. Love and be loved. Renew and be renewed. Go. Build community. Build Canada. Go with God's blessing for the world. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Amen.